it's your lovely Abby Dagren and welcome back to my channel lovelies. Today I'll be continuing a series on my channel that deals with natal chart analysis. I'll be speaking on Lionel Messi. I'll be speaking on his personality traits as well as his characteristic traits based off of his chart. I'll also be speaking on how his charts have a lot to do with his success. So please stay tuned for the rest of my video lovelies. If you have not yet become a part of the Abby Dagren family, then this is your calling to do so. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know when I upload videos on the daily. Please also make sure that you hit that like button because I know you guys love this video. And last but not least, please make sure you share this video with everyone you know. Whether it's your friends, your family members, your enemies, or anyone who really loves Lionel. Now let's get right into this video. So Lionel Messi was born on June 24th, 1987, so that qualifies him to be a Cancer. So with this placement, he tends to be very much intuitive. This comes from him being a water sign, and water signs tend to have very great intuition. He's a very emotional person that comes with being a water sign as well. He's able to feel emotions, feel other people's emotions, and feel his own emotions freely. He's someone who is very stable. That comes from him being a cardinal sign, so he knows what he needs, and he knows what he needs to do in order to accomplish something and his wants. He's very steadfast, and he makes a great listener. That comes with being a water sign. Water signs tend to be very great listeners, and they tend to be very steadfast. They tend to be very great friends. So this really does explain him being a son in Cancer and how he's been able to gain success. Up next would be his moon in Gemini. So he tends to be someone who is close to the circle in regards to being social. So he loves to be around. He loves to talk to people. He loves to do things that are interesting. And he's always on the move. Gemini placements tend to be very much anxious. They tend to always be doing something. So that's something that makes sense. That's why he's a great soccer player because having all that energy is needed in order for you to be in sports. He is someone who's ready for the next big challenge. So he loves to challenge himself and you do see that a lot in his soccer career. He's someone who intellectualizes his emotions so even though he is a cancer in regards to his inner self he tries to understand his emotion through intellect not through feelings he's someone who's very optimistic in life very curious he's very quick-witted very communicated and he's very impressionable up next would be his Mercury in Cancer, which is great to have because he's able to have his son and Mercury in the same sign. So he's able to express himself in a better manner. He's someone who utilizes his incredible listening skills to figure out what's going on below the surface. This is something that Cancer Mercury's are great at because they're able to listen to what everyone has to say and they're able to pick information that is being told to them and either retain it in their mind or ask follow-up questions about that topic or that statement. That's something that really benefits them because they're able to be one step ahead in a way. They do have a very sensitive communication. They do use cautious words. They may be moody in expressing themselves and they may have an emotional perception but they're very empathetic in regards to their reasoning and they do have very patriotic gestures. So this is great. Up next would be his Venus in Gemini. So he's someone who values friendship in a relationship. He values communication as well. He wants to be able to communicate with his partner and for them to communicate with him. He wants to be like the type of air sign Venus. So air sign Venus tend to want to be with someone who they just so happened to marry but they were friends. They love humor, they love a short trip, but they love mental stimulation as well. They want to be able to talk and this makes sense because they're ruled by Mercury. Mercury is the planet of communication so this makes a lot of sense. He uses his wit to attract others. He's very playful 
and may like to tease. He wants a stimulating and lighthearted relationship. He can talk endlessly and yet skip over deeper issues. He likes variety and taste changes frequently. He needs someone who gives him his freedom and he loves to flirt. Up next would be his Mars and Cancer. So this is his third cancer placement so he has a cancer stellium he's someone who is very ambitious in regards to life and very creative comes with the water sign and the cardinal sign that makes him like that in regards to his mars and i just did a video on cancer mars and you guys can watch it he's someone who is very sensitive in regards to his drive he has a very big imagination he has a lot of empathy for others and he's very cautious as well. So when he is able to accomplish his goals, he's not someone who's going to use his drive to make someone not be able to make their drive. He's not the type of person who's really competitive. He just uses that drive in order for him to have the stability that he needs and he's able to get what he needs in life like money, a house, security. He uses his drive to get the things that he really needs in life. Up next would be his Jupiter and Aries. So he's someone who has a lot of energy for travel and meeting challenges head on. Having the energy for travel is actually great for him because he is a soccer player. So he's able to just navigate and just be mutable in that life. So he's able to blend in and just really appreciate the traveling. He loves to meet challenges head on, which is great because it doesn't linger. He's someone who loves engaging in new opportunities and doing a lot of new things. And he's someone who will grow and develop by being an uncompromising individualist. He has the need to explore his talents and abilities. He's not afraid to let himself go and develop self-confidence and pride in his accomplishments. But he tries not to be self-centered and ignore the needs of others. So this is great. He will just need the self-discipline. Up next would be his Saturn and Sagittarius. So he's someone who tends to focus on one thing at a time until he masters it. And this is something that's actually great because he's able to benefit in that manner, knowing one thing to the greatest and then doing something else to the greatest. And this is something that can really benefit him. He's someone who will have one obstacle, which is the setback early in life to teach him patience and perseverance. So he may have had a lot of setbacks so he can learn patience and perseverance, but he loves adventure and loves facing challenges. He's also someone who is able to be quite conservative and respect traditional authority figures and is very thankful and supportive of the laws and institutions which govern his life. He loves to learn new ideas and thoroughly examine them. So he's pretty mm -hmm. open-minded in regards to different things. Up next would be his Uranus and Sagittarius. And he tends to be the type of renaissance person and he loves to dabble in everything. He's someone who's very open-minded in regards to different cultures and different things. So this is something that really helps him because since he's traveling around the world and seeing different people and cultures, he's able to be open-minded and get to know their rules, know their laws and know everything. He's someone who is like his peers and they have the tendency to think about all ideas customs and traditions from the past are different and not the things that they probably would want but he is attracted to different ideas philosophies and religions that will cause changes throughout the world and i think this really describes him because he seems like a very open-minded person he seems like someone who really wants to get to know different things so this describes him up next will be his neptune and capricorn and he tends to be someone who focuses on ways to increase his power, wealth, and influence. And he does that well with his soccer career. And with his soccer career, he's able to branch out into different things like endorsements, being able to go to different places in order to improve himself. So this really does help him a lot in regards to wanting to increase himself because having this Capricorn placement, they tend to always want to idealize things in regards to their success. So they love to idealize work, 
practicality and ability to attain reasonable goals. He is someone who may stress in being selfless and giving and he may find it difficult to attain his goals unless he has lowered his expectations on all fronts but he just has to know that it's okay for him to accomplish the dream that he wants to accomplish and he will do it up next will be his pluto and scorpio and he's able to get this because he was born between 1984 and 1995 so he is a millennial and they are the types of people who look into things that are very intense and they love to face what is scary so probably previous generations didn't want to talk about certain topics or different things and Pluto and Scorpio they tend to want to look into things that people probably would not want to. They love to make collective issues conscious so they love to talk about issues that are very beneficial to society and they are about revolutions and movements. They know what is happening behind the scenes and they love to go deeper in regards to what's going on because they're not surface level thinkers or surface level people. So if you want anyone to really talk about issues or get to the bottom of things, Pluto and Scorpio or millennials are the ones. Up next would be his North Node in Aries. So in order for him to uncover his hidden gifts and talents he will need to develop these attributes so first things first would be independence having a lot of self-awareness trusting one's impulses being courageous constructive self-interest moderation and giving self nurturing up next would be being bold and assertive in his life using his energy and courage to inspire change identifying with the warrior within asserting his self to overcome challenges, taking risk and not being afraid to speak his mind, be the pioneering spirit of his generation, do not be concerned with what others think and want, follow the path of his own desires, then there is no way that can go wrong, surrounding himself with people who support his assertiveness and boldness, and just be the spiritual warrior that he's meant to be. Up next would be his Chiron and Gemini. So with this placement, he tends to have had the wound of speech or speaking his truth or just him speaking in general. So this is a very common Chiron as well. And they love to hide themselves sometimes. So expressing themselves is very challenging. Gemini's, they tend to be expressive, but in the Chiron placement, they have a problem with that. Geminis tend to speak a lot, and in this placement, they either don't speak a lot or they have the wound of speech. So they probably don't feel as though they want to speak or need to speak because they will be made fun of, or if they're expressing themselves, they'll be made fun of, or people will say something not nice to them. So what they need to realize is that working on their speech is important, but we really do I want to hear what they have to say and it's very important for them to do this and understand this in the best way that they can up next would be his ascendant in Aquarius so he's someone who is very much innovative in the way that he acts speaks or does anything he's someone who is very friendly and can be very different sometimes cold-hearted but he's someone who's very progressive intellectual tech savvy and he's someone who at times can be inconsistent but that does come with air placements but they do it because they want to make sure they have the right decision being made likes to be unique or different may be a highly sought after individual for advice he's typically curious as well as well educated he is a humanitarian, very idealistic, very tolerant, and very impartial. He needs freedom to expand his restlessness. He's very likable and friendly. He may be aloof and detached, but very kind and caring. He's unaffected by status, wealth, and power. Last but not least would be his midheaven in Libra. And he is someone who loves to be in a very creative occupation he's someone who has the image of being poised very diplomatic 
very fair, very accommodating, very deliberate. So these are the images or the persona he has for his career. He's someone who's very creative and very pleasant and he loves to feel more in a balance. He loves to balance his career out. He tries to be charming and diplomatic while presenting himself in a very poised manner. He loves to climb the ladder of success by getting others to support him. He is someone who needs to carefully weigh each decision and his desire for peace. And this is something that really comes with this midheaven because having peace in their career and being able to make sure that everyone is happy with what's going on is something that someone with a midheaven and Libra would want. That's all I have for you lovelies today in regards to Mr. Messi's natal chart. Please let me know down below in the comment section. Did you learn more about him? Did you get a better understanding as to who he is as a person? And were you able to get the gist as to how his success and his chart really makes a lot of sense? Also, please make sure you let me know who else you guys would want me to do a natal chart analysis on. Please hit that subscribe, that like, that share, and that notification bell. And please make sure you're following me on all of my social media accounts from Pinterest down to TikTok. Also, please make sure you're supporting my Etsy store, my PayPal, and my podcast, which are all linked down below. I love you all. Please stay safe and healthy, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, lovelies.